Hey, so fun thing about recording in cemeteries, um, when you're trying to get your energy up and you start screaming, you're probably disturbing people who are like visiting their loved ones. And to that person over there, I'm very sorry. So yeah. on that note, welcome to Haunting TV. I'm the obnoxious one in your cemetery, Jeanette. <laughs> and I'm Christina. <laughs> And today we're talking about a true crime novel called The Monster of Florence. <laughs> so it is a novel written by Douglas Preston and Mario Spezzi. Douglas Preston, they're both actually in the story because this is based on true, true events. Life. Yes. Um, Douglas Preston is actually an American who moves with his family to Florence just so that he can write a novel and just to experience something new. Whereas Mario Spezzi has been a journalist his entire life. He's lived in Florence and he's been covering the monster killings since the first day that they happened. Yep. And uh, this is, imagine, imagine a beautiful countryside in Italy with, with like a vineyard or, I don't know, like a, an orchard maybe. The most beautiful overlooking hill and you and your lover are just going at it in a car. And then you get horribly murdered. That's what keeps happening in this story. <laughs> yeah, it's a tragic way to end that. It's a tragic way to die. But yeah, so we don't know if there's just one killer or multiple killers, but they end up killing lovers all over the place. Lots and, of them. Uh, I mean, at least they get to place, die in a nice place, right? Yeah. You know. a bonus. Yeah. Other than those last couple minutes, it was mostly enjoyable. But in, a, in the book, ooh, not here, here. <laughs> so they actually show you um, pictures, Christ. there's a sketch of who they think is the actual like killer. Um, there's, where's Mario Spezzi? Oh, my note is falling out. <laughs> Disregard that. Ah, that's Mario Spezzi right there. <laughs> um, I don't think we get a picture of Douglas Preston. Which is a little sad. It is a little actually. sad. So I, I think part of why I liked this book was because it really showed you a lot about what Italy is and what their justice system is like and just kind of how uh, different <laughs> how different it is from America and yeah. for example the the chief of police right mm -hmm. who was in charge on this case is still in charge today and he made a very um, specific arrest right yeah, he actually ordered that Amanda Knox be arrested, and he's basically the reason that she was in prison for as long as she was, even though they didn't have evidence. Um, there were rumors that they were planting evidence just to make sure that they won the case. I just caught it! <laughs> so basically they were trying to, you know, make sure that they were saving their careers and that the whole entire world wasn't laughing at Italy because they couldn't find the killer. So yep. it is some very shady things. Yeah, it was it was so fascinating. Yeah. I really enjoyed reading this. Um, I love taking, I love Italy for one thing, I've already said that. Uh, I also really like true crime and serial killers. I'm obsessed with things like that. That came out wrong. <laughs> you know. You like serial killers? I do, I love learning about serial killers. I have like on my desk constantly is infamous murderers, like a massive volume of it with like little micro piles of all the world's famous serial killers. Cause I'm a weird one. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're not the one who has to stand next to me. <laughs> no, me. Oh, me. no, it's okay. So, the ending. Yes. I had a very strong opinion about the ending. So, what I usually do is I, you know, read the first quarter of the book and then I have to flip to the end and read like the last page or two just to see if this book is really worth, you know, continuing reading. <laughs> I didn't do that this time around and I got to the end and it was just like, no, <laughs> it's not a bad ending by any means we're not gonna spoil it but it's just not the ending that I wanted it's yeah just, it's not as satisfying as I wanted it to be it made sense though because like did. you mentioned uh, at one point when we were talking before this that it really kind of wrapped up the end it kind it of did. tied everything together even though it didn't do the things you wanted specifically so <laughs> right. I'm just going to mention, in, no, no, I'm not going to mention anything. Ooh, that was a close one. I'm not spoiling anything. No, bad Christina. Um, no, it, it's, it's still a wonderful book. I still really liked it. I enjoyed it. It's just, 
I wanted more. Yep. At the end. <laughs> That's it. But by, by no means is it a bad book. It, it's it true. It was an awesome book, and I loved it. And it did wrap around. It was really good. Um, yeah. So it, there really wasn't anything that was missing from it. So we're... Uh, oh, before we go... Yes. There was Hannibal, right? Yes. Tell, uh, so, tell us about that. <laughs> well, naturally, you know, loving horror. We both love Hannibal. Um, as in the book, not the person. Um, <laughs> in the movie. Um, but uh, we meet Thomas Harris in it. Mm -hmm. So there's a few references to him. Uh, he actually went to Italy, you know, sat through some of the court hearings and everything, and based Hannibal off of the monster of Florence, which is so mind-boggling because right? I never would have guessed. <laughs> the other tie that I had to this book was um, I honeymooned in Florence. I did not have a car, so I didn't put myself in danger, but but uh, it's a little frightening to realize just how like close to brush and elbows I may or may not have been by being in the same areas. So <laughs> reading this book, I was like, oh my gosh, when did this happen? Oh, this wasn't that long ago. <laughs> so yeah. for all of these reasons, we're giving the monster Florence. Yes, we're giving it four blood spattered stars. <laughs> No, it's battered. So if you like true crime novels, serial killers, and Italy, you should definitely check this out. Yes, please do. <laughs> it's a nice book. Yeah. We liked it. <laughs> and we're petting it now. I'm petting it it's now. So I don't know why I'm petting it, but it's a, it's a nice book. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time with Christina and Jeanette Reviews. Horror. <laughs> Bye.